welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Now, as we're talking about not being able to say no <laughs> when we don't want to do things or when we don't want something. This is like going to a shop and you're being offered an ice cream to buy and you've got all the flavours on the wall. And your parent says to you, okay, you're only allowed to get vanilla ice cream. But there's all the flavours on the wall. <laughs> There's so many different flavors. Maybe you want to try every single flavor. Every time you go, you try a different one. I want to try a different one because that's what we're here for, to experience and try all these things. And some things will fit and we'll love them and some things won't feel that great. And it's like, good, I can walk away from that. <laughs> but, you know, for the longest time, I put up with people saying things and doing things that made me feel bad made me feel inadequate right and I know this is all stuff that's in my head I'd given them my power right I didn't know I had my own power and I could take it back whenever I wanted right but this is this message I wanted to go out to all these people that put up with parents that make them feel bad okay if you're a young adult especially right I'm more talking about a young adult I'm not talking about a little one that still relies on their parents and they're growing up but you're a young adult, right? And you're, you've left home. A lot of us have left home and we've still got parents, you know, calling us up and making us feel bad or saying things or putting us down. Uh, you don't have to put up with that. If it makes you feel bad, you don't have to answer the call. If you know that every time they call, they're gonna make you feel like crap. Why do we take the call? If we're already grown up, we're out of the house and we're living our own lives, right? And you have these people and, you know, these parents or whoever it is. It may not be your parents. It might be someone else, you know, a sibling, whatever it is. If they call you up and nine times out of ten that they call up, you hang up and you feel bad about yourself or you're angry or whatever it is. Maybe it's time to take a break from that. Stop answering the calls. Stop talking to them. Create space. Okay, in creating space, you can start to look at yourself a little bit more. Why does that upset me? Why does that bother me? Why does that trigger me? The things that this person says or does, right? Especially if you're not living under the same roof. Some of you may still be living under the same roof. And this still applies. You can still look at yourself as to why that bothers you. Why does that trigger you? Why does that upset you? what they say, what they do, all of that. Why can't you say no, no more? No, I don't want that anymore. I don't want to feel bad anymore. When is it time to step into that? I don't want to feel bad anymore. Because we take this on from our adult, from our parents, from the adults around us, I was going to just say, but we take it on from our parents when we're little. We learn these behaviors, right? We walk into the world and we're this beautiful love, right? And it's not acknowledged. And so we have these parents around us that are already in this space of not love, right? They're in this space of shame, guilt, fear, pain, all the rest of it, right? That's where they are. They don't wake up to the truth that they are the love when you come. And then what happens is they pass that all on to you. All the junk, all this baggage that they've been carrying for decades now gets passed on to you. <laughs> and all is as it should be, because that's what you came for. You came here to take on that baggage, right? To take on that junk. You wanted to know what the experience was like. But now, at this point in your life, is it time to put down that baggage and say, I'm done with it. I don't need to do that anymore. I don't need to feel bad anymore because it was never mine. <laughs> it wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. It wasn't my junk. It wasn't my baggage. It was someone else's and they just dumped it on me. So put it down. Realize that it was never yours. Realize that it was never about you. To start with, it was just their baggage. Put it down. 
And if at this point in your life, you can't have a conversation with them without feeling triggered and upset and feeling bad, then stop taking that phone call. Stop answering the call when the phone rings. Stop answering. I didn't speak to my parents for seven years. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I was in a space where I just couldn't talk to them because I knew that everything that they would say would make me feel bad and I was done with it. I was done with feeling bad. I was done with it. I was over it because I knew in my heart that that's not what we came for. We didn't come here to suffer and be in pain and be feeling bad all the time and to have the people around us make us feel bad all the time. That's not what we came for. And I knew that deep down. So that's why I thought I came back to Australia from overseas and I spent a good seven years. But I was like, I want nothing. I don't want any conversation with them. I just, I'm done. And, you know, it's funny now because there'll be things we'll talk and there'll be things, you know, and there'll be triggers. I still get triggers sometimes. You know, I talk to my other friends and you know that are into spirituality and stuff and i'm like why why are we still getting triggered what's this all about you know <laughs> i thought we healed this you know but it's not that it's just that our evolution is a spiral you know it's not a it's not a flat thing that's like oh here i fixed it here so now we can keep going straight and it's all done no it's an actual spiral that we do going up 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 right and so as you have an experience you get onto this spiral that goes up Right? It's not just a flat circle, it's a spiral that goes up. And you keep getting experiences and sometimes the experience will repeat when you're higher up. But all of a sudden you get to relive that and you're looking at it with different eyes. And you're starting to get the information of, oh, what that was really for. The gift that was in it, that you couldn't see when you were on a lower <laughs> level of it, you know? But honestly, if you're in a space where you can't talk to that person, whoever that is that makes you feel bad or puts you down or whatever it is, you can stop talking to them. Just stop answering the call. Stop talking to them. Make space for yourself and start to look at why certain things that they say trigger you. Why does it bother you? You really need to start looking at that. Where did that come from? Why is that there? Why do I get triggered when they say that? Or they do that? Because when you can understand, oh, that's where it came from, is when you realize, oh, it was never mine. Oh, it was their baggage. Oh, it was never about me. <laughs> it's that simple. It's like, oh, this is your junk that you just threw on top of me and I've been carrying it for you all this time, but it's not mine. It was never mine. And that's the day that you get to, oh, put it down. There you go, I can put it down now. I don't need it anymore. You don't need to carry it anymore. You don't need to feel bad anymore. That's the beauty of it. And that's the day that you can start to love yourself. You can be on that path instead. And, you know, I'm not saying, oh, don't talk to them forever, because I talk to my parents now. <laughs> but when I was younger, I didn't know how to handle it. And the only way I knew how was to just not call them, not talk to them. You know, if they called and left a message, fine, I'd listen to the message. But even sometimes I wouldn't even listen to the message because I was like, oh, I'm done with it. I'm done with feeling bad. And I'm done with being around people that make me feel bad. You know? And the magic that happens when you make that decision is that the universe will surround you with the people that will lift you up, the people that will make you feel good. Or at least the people that will put you on the path of you falling in love with yourself, falling in love with who you really are. You know? Because that happened to me. the moment I was like no I don't want to be around people that make me feel bad I started to get people in my life that were actually pushing me to look at myself and to fall in love with who I am 
So don't be scared to let these people go. Because as you create the space and you say, I don't want that anymore, and you start to focus on, you know what? I want people around me that make me feel good. I want to feel good. You start saying that to the universe, then that's what it starts to deliver. I want to feel good. I want to be happy. I want to feel love. I want to know what love is. Can you start to show up that way? Instead of keep creating all these situations that make you feel bad, make you feel bad, make you feel bad. You have to make the choice. But you have to put down the baggage that doesn't belong to you first. Put it down. Why are you still carrying it? <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> All right, my darlings. I love you. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.